So basically, Twitch have created a social eating category. So you you know the games that you can play, you you put in the game that you're currently playing, and then you can have gaming talk shows. There's the creative aspect now if you're doing creative things, and they've just added social eating. So you can go to Twitch and eat stuff on stream. Now people do that in general anyway. Like if they're playing a game and they take a break. The, the, to eat something, you know, it, it happens from time to time, I've done it before. Um, but I figured, because I've now got the munch packs every month to sort of unbox and try out, I figured that it would be a good idea to sort of experiment a little bit with it, and that's what I've been doing with these munch pack videos. Obviously the first one was on my second channel, um, and this will end up going on my second channel, but obviously it's a different format because it's coming straight from the stream, and I figured I would try the munch pack unboxing on stream and just you know see what that's like obviously talk to the chat a little bit um i'll probably edit it down for brookie's random bits but yeah you know i figured i'd give it a go and see what it was like since the social eating aspect is now there and with these munch pack things because they're happy for me to put it on the second channel and they, they keep sending me them every month and they're not really bothered that it's going on the second channel i can experiment a little bit with it whereas obviously the loot crate videos they're always going to be you know well-made ratings and all that kind of stuff so yeah i mean let's just i guess we'll just uh get get into it um munch pack so that's not gonna work out well is it let's let's try and fold it i had this problem last time let's fold this underneath um, and then later on obviously we will play some geoguessr like this is only going to take 15 minutes or something i would imagine and then we'll play GeoGuessr later on and just sort of chill out in the stream. So, hola, adventurous eater. This munch pack was made with lots of love by Andy. Andy, Andy loves me. There you go. Um, so, interestingly, something that I should get my phone really. So, in the last munch pack video, the one thing that I was talking about was the fact that you can't see where these things are from like you, you had to look at you know all of the um all of the labels and try to search through the labels to try and find which country it was from and what the backstory be there was no backstory behind the items that you got and all that kind of stuff well they've actually take seem to have taken that on board i don't know whether it was only my comment that did that but they've taken that on board and now they've got a munch pack snack scanner it's an app that you download to your phone you scan the barcode of the snack that's in the munch pack and it gives you all the information about the the type of uh the, the type of thing it is where it comes from all the backstory on it all that kind of stuff uh you can save your favorites and buy more stuff so that's pretty good it, it, it feels good that it might have been my um my feedback that put that into development maybe i don't know uh but yeah, if there's anything that we're confused about, I'll get my phone and we'll check. So, first up, what's this? Tomato flavoured cracker. Thailand. So this is from Thailand, okay, so we don't need the, the scanner for this. So, I mean, I mean, you can see the reflection of, of the screen, but there you go. Thailand flavoured... To Thailand flavoured tomato flavoured crackers <laughs> from Thailand, fashion food company, and then a lot of words that I can't understand. All right, I mean, let's give this a go. Can you organise the food in a way that looks like cock and balls? <sighs> Munch Pack cares about their customers more than Rockstar. <laughs> That is true. All right. So we, we have tomato flavored crisps over here. Uh, let's find out what. I'm a fan. They're nice. Mmm. They're really nice. They're kind of like um, prawn crackers that you get from a Chinese, but obviously tomato flavored. Mm, that's good. 
I'm a fan. Okay. Oh, I did rate these in the last video. What would I give that? Eight. I'm giving that an eight out of ten. I forgot about the rating. Um, fist, fisters, cause, 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 fisters, cause, cow. <laughs> what? Okay, so I mean that's what that's what these are. Um, so these are from Poland. Poland seems to be a, a, a common place for some of this stuff here. So I guess we'll find out. Eight out of ten hype. Yeah, we're starting off good. We're starting off good. Fisters. Yeah, there's, we got the new Fister eight one one, and now we got the Fister because of how how. So these are little. Little individually wrapped things. Is it a hard sweet? Yeah. That's so weird. Mmm, not a fan of that. I can't even describe what that is. It's like it's like hard candy on the outside with a bit of toffee mixed in with it, and then some like crunchy chocolatey stuff on the inside. Hmm. No, I'm not a fan. I mean, they're okay, but. That's a shame. Um, I guess I'll give them a five because they weren't they weren't totally awful, but I wouldn't want to eat them again. I think I'll no nah, no nah, bring that to a four. wasn't that good. wasn't good enough for a five. Um, Hi chew, sensationally chewy fruit candy grape flavor. I already know that I don't like grape flavor. Um, made in Taiwan, under license from Japan. Distributed in America. Anyway, hi chew, hi chew. Let's have a look at this. You just know that everything Bruffy likes, Zexy would hate, and vice versa. Yeah, that's pretty much true. I'll be honest. <laughs> the worst rating you could give something is six out of twenty. <laughs> Any cheese in this lineup? I hope not. Uh, I don't know about this. Don't like grape. Officially the whitest person on the planet. <laughs> I think this could work well as a video, like with the chat. Mm. I mean, it is chewy. It's grape though, so... No, I don't like grape. If they were like orange, I'd probably like those. Weird consistency. Like they are so chewy, but like for example, like a starburst. A starburst sort of disintegrates every like eventually, whereas this just keeps going. Oh god, I could imagine Zexy trying a munch pack. She she will be in one of these videos at some point. When if if I get a munch pack and, and she's around, we'll do one together. I mean if I'm being objective, they're probably a six. Like I don't really like the, the taste of them, but objective objectively speaking, they're about a six. They're not too bad. I don't know why people are saying hi YouTube. I'm not going to put the actual chat on the screen when this video goes up. I'm just going to read out certain things that I see. Um, it's taken ages to eat. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I've seen something that I've had before, and I didn't like them, and I thought I would. Are these rice crackers, well, sesame, sesame brittle, sesame seed cracker thingy, my bobs. Um. Product of Ukraine. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna like these. I think they're really, really plain. Um, 
So we've had a... Um, what do we have? Thailand, Poland, Japan, Ukraine. At some point, I, I, even if we know where all of these come from, I, I'll check the app and see what that's all about as well. Yeah, if we do a munch pack when Tony's around, we'll, we'll get him in, uh, involved as well. You know, I feel like these munch pack videos can be quite experimentational and we can do different things all the time because they are going up on the second channel. Um, that's the munch pack information. Still eating this chewy thing. I mean, I'm not a fast eater under normal circumstances, but get Drake of. Yeah, we could get Drake of in as well. That'd be fun. Hmm. I, mean, I know. I already know that I'm not gonna like this. Nah. I mean, nah. It's it's just bland. I'm giving that a f three. Looks like bird food. That's exactly. That's kind of exactly what it is. Like it's it's sesame seeds, but put together with some like sugar. It's it's not nice. That's a three. Not a fan. I haven't been a fan of much. I've only really been a fan of the the first. We started well with the the tomato things, and then we've gone downhill. What size munch pack do you have? I have no idea. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten items in here. I don't know. I, that's what it's just what whatever they send me. It tastes like a bum's nut sack. <laughs> okay. Um. So, I'm probably not going to like this as well. Cream colon. Cream colon? <laughs> I mean, where's this from? Product of Japan. So, we've had two from Japan. Um, I mean, I don't even know what this is. Oh, what? Why? Why? It's in a box and then it's in a bag. Like, I don't understand this. Are you meant to take them out of the bag and put them in the box? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. That kind of tastes like, um, really creamy cake mix. It's an interesting sensation. Mm. They're actually not too bad. I mean, as you probably all know, I don't like cheese and I don't like milk or cream or anything like that. I don't really like dairy, like, you know, dairy type stuff uh, on its own anyway. Um, and these are obviously cream focused, I guess you could say. Um, they're not too bad. Like quite wafery and then creamy in the middle. I'll give them, I'm going to give them uh, a six. We'll give them a six. Yeah, they were okay. Um, all right, so we're halfway through. What's this? Roller candy. Finny roller candy. Extra sour. Oh, I hate sour stuff. I'm so bad with sour stuff. This is... Um... I think product of Spain. Okay, this is Spanish. Get get the stanky cheese out of here, for God's sake. I hate sour stuff. I'm not going to like this. This is going to be like one. Mm. 
I like how everything that says extra sour is never ever sour. Yeah, I can handle that. And as I've said before, I'm not good with sour stuff. Like, it's, uh, it's nice because it's a strawberry flavor, so that helps. But, um, sour. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I definitely don't think it's extra sour. I wouldn't put it down as extra sour. But, please don't make that face. It's quite the turn. <laughs> all in. Screw off. I'm not having all of it. I'm going to say that uh, if I liked sour stuff, that would be maybe a, a six as well. Because, I mean, unless you were expecting even more sour stuff. But I, I'll give it a five. I'm, I'm, I'm going for a five on that one. Not too bad, but not fantastic. Pretty much your bog standard stuff. Nothing special. Nothing interesting, really. This looks, on the other hand, quite interesting. Sunflower seed halva with vanilla aroma chocolate iced or icing what product of ukraine so we're, we're chocolate glazed sunflower halva with vanilla flavor i have no idea what a halva is um okay let's <sighs> it's in the g you can't say stuff like that man Chocolate just went all over the place. This is all broken apart on the inside. Oh my god. Get it in the box. Does anybody want any of this? I'll send it to you. It's all open, but... Where's the pop cake? I've still got that. I've still got, like, I think two of those are in the fridge. They were great. Okay, so this is... I mean... This is a breaking apart. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, that is awful. That is truly awful. It's made with sunflower seeds. You're not bloody kidding. You can taste them. It's like eating a plant. It, it was like... It was exactly the same as these, but it had some chocolate on. And it was... But it was softer, so they can I gave those a three. I think I'll have to give that a three as well. Ugh. Ugh. That's horrible. Not a fan of the Ukraine. You're not kidding? Where are these from the Ukraine? Oh, no, they were put. What else was from the Ukraine? Or oh, was it the, the. Oh, yeah, it was the sesame stuff that was from the Ukraine as well. I'm not a fan of Ukrainian food. Russian people love sunflower seeds. Oh, really? I mean, I did not know that, but... Ugh, that's horrible. No, no, not happy with that. Um, I see something that's milk caramel. That I feel like that's going to be nice, so we'll save that. What's this? A box of stuff. This looks promising. Like wafery stuff with chocolate. Um, cereal choco. Product of Korea. Okay. Look, Ukraine love putting plants in their food. <laughs> Send me that shit. I love nuts in my mouth. <laughs> Again, with the box and the... Just give me a bag. What a waste of cardboard. I mean, having trouble opening it. I mean, that's a bit embarrassing, let's be honest. All right. Little square things. That's strange. I've never had anything like that before. The wafer is... It's like it's overpowering over the chocolate. Mm. I 
can't make my mind up with those. It's like a reverse Kit Kat. So if you think of, if you think of a Kit Kat where the wafers on the outside and the chocolates on the inside, you just switch them around. It's like that. It, it's like Siri. They're like, yeah. The wafer tastes like cereal. I can't place what kind of cereal it is, but like, I feel you could put these in a bowl and have some milk with them. <laughs> You'd have a, like a, a breakfast snack. They're okay. Um, I'm trying to think what I get. Did I get, what did I give these? Did I give these a five or a six? If I gave these a six, then these are a six as well, I think. I can't remember what I gave them now, but yeah, there you go. I'm not, I've not enjoyed a lot. I mean, I, w I probably won't eat them. Like, they're not that nice, but... Wafer is four seconds faster than chocolate around CCGP ruined the class. <laughs> but you hid dairy, you scum. Yeah, I do. I like. I don't like cheese, but I like cheese on pizza. I don't like milk, but I like it in tea a little bit or a very small amount on cereal. Like, you know, I like little, little bits of milk and little bits of cheese when it's not the overpowering taste or flavour of whatever I'm eating. Feed them to the roost. <laughs> Cutting cereal GP. <laughs> this is great, actually. I, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot more than the first video that I made for the Munch Pack because I'm interacting with the chat. If you're watching this on Bruffy's Random Bits, then I'm trying to read out the, the best parts of the chat. Um, but, yeah. Uh, wait, what are these? Happy... Happy, happy choco chip cookies. Okay, I mean, we're leaving those to last because the chocolate chip cookies, they've got to be good. Rich milk caramel is what these are. Um, they're from either Japan or China or Korea or something because um, they, they have all that different style of writing on, but there's no information. Oh, perfect time to use the, the app because we don't know where these are for, from. Okay, so... Snack scanner. Place the barcode inside the viewfinder rectangle to scan. Tap the hard icon to save. Tell others what you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add snacks to your cart and prepare to enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Start scanning. Let's do this. So I'll try to I do this to where you can see the. Hello. Um, this is difficult. Where's the barcode? Oh, there it is. Uh, this way. Scan history. Okay, tell me what these are all about. Lottie Milk Caramel. Two dollars from South Korea again. So we've had a few things from Korea. Intensely flavoured caramels that have a very rich milk caramel taste that will satisfy any sweet tooth craving. So that's pretty good. Like, I, I'm, I'm glad that they've decided to do that. Uh with this and that was something that I mentioned in the last video on uh, oh what a scumbag Tomlinson subscribe for 30 months in a row om nom nom <laughs> thank you Tomlinson appreciate it man thanks Tomlinson thanks for the thanks for the support om nom nom indeed sub hype there's a lot of bruffy oranges all right so Ah, oh, they're individually wrapped as well. They're like little squares. I like little squares like you get um, with like OXO cubes. <laughs> right, let's try this. Milk caramel. Hmm. These are going to be chewy. Hmm. The chat's been immense, I've got to say. 
If it wasn't so much work to get the chat for these videos, I would probably put the chat in. But it it takes a lot of effort. I wonder if I can do something on via Twitch alerts. Oh, what a scumbag! Twister! Resubscribe for two months in a row! Or something, what up, <laughs> with the bruffy oranges. Thank you, Twister. I need to reformat that, actually. So you can see the messages a bit easier. Sub hype. First time here, how are you? You picked a good stream to end of the first time. <laughs> Food eating, munch pack tasting. Social eating for 79 viewers, that's ridiculous. Um, you're getting fat, you've changed. <laughs> um... Thank you, Twister. Appreciate the, sub the, the, the subscription, man. Thank you. It's good to see all the bruffy oranges. Maybe I, I maybe it would I would be able to, like I was going to say, I, I could do something with Twitch alerts and have it like on the side of the screen or something so the chat would come up live as I'm streaming. Maybe I could do something like that. That would be pretty good. I know that I can use Twitch past broadcasts, but, um, but that, again, that requires me to actually go through it all and record it in the entirety, which is what I do for the live videos, but it seems like a lot to do for something like this, especially considering it's only going on Bruffy's random bits. Region capture it with the chat replay on. Yeah, that's what I normally do for the live stuff. I know how to get the chat, it's just, it's a lot of effort, really. We'll see though. Anyway, they're good. I really like those. They're kind of like a, a cross between caramel and fudge, I would say. Um, let's turn off the phone and be professional a little bit. Twitch Alerts has a chat box you can use with a CLR browser. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe something like that for the next time that we do this. Hmm. I like those. And I start to think they stay in your mouth and give you taste for quite a while as well. They're nice. I'm going to give those an 8 as well. They're just as good as the tomato crackers. Happy, happy. The last thing. Last thing from the munch pack. Choco chip cookies. Where's this from? India. Okay. Okay. I, mean, I don't think I've ever eaten something from India before. Fudgemel or Karaudge? <laughs> now, so these are quite unconventional chocolate chip cookies. They've got lines down them for some reason. Um, and it's like, they're not like a normal cookie in so far as it's a, it's a bit darker, I would say. And, and really thin. the weirdest chocolate chip cookie I've ever had. It's like a cross between a cookie, a wafer, and a cracker. With the tiniest hint of chocolate. I mean, they're okay, but... Like, I don't know, like... Stuff like this, you meant to. It's like it's meant to be rich. You meant to enjoy it. Like chocolate chip cookies, they're so good because they've got so much taste to them. But these don't feel like they've really got that. They're a bit bland for a chocolate chip cookie. You're a cross between a cookie, a wafer, and a crack. <laughs> There's a taste of curry. Acquired taste, maybe. I think all of the things here will be acquired tastes. You know, different cultures are going to have different tastes, and that's kind of what I enjoy about trying these things. Obviously, trying new things, seeing things that you might like, or just trying different things from different countries in general. Um, I'm going to give those a. 
They're all right, but I'm going to give them a five, a bog standard five. Ideal for dipping in something. Yeah, probably, I would say. If I had a cup of tea, then they'd probably be a lot better for dipping in. Um, but or having with ice cream. Yeah, that actually, actually, that's a good, yeah, that's a good shout, Thomas. And ice cream would actually work well with those. Yeah. Um, so if you're watching this on Bruffy's Random Bits, the link to the to Munch Pack will be in the description if you want to get one of these or, or want to try it out or whatever. Um, that, that's in the description. I'll put it in the Twitch chat now. Uh, there it is. And that's it for Munch Pack. So the best items were the milk caramel things um, and these, the tomato crackers, the first item that we had. These were, these were good. Yeah, big fan. Um, the the caramel things were from Korea, and these were from Thailand, with the flavour of Thailand. <laughs> the worst things were the two things from Ukraine, without a doubt. The the seed things, and um, what was the other seedy stuff? Oh, that was this thing. Ugh, that was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, there we go. Uh, I hope you, I hope you all enjoyed um, this this social eating, food tasting first part of the stream. Uh, what did you guys think anyway? Like, like, let me know, chat. Tell me, what did you think? And is this okay to put on Bruffy's random bits, or should I, um, should I put the, should I just do a separate video like I did for the first bunch pack unboxing? Is it better to do it on a stream like this to talk to you guys whilst I'm doing it, or should I, um, should I just go back to how I did it the first time, like the Lucrate unboxings with the, the munch pack stuff? Let me know. What do you think? <laughs>